Hello everybody, I'm Mateo and today I'm going to be showing you the most effective way to destroy the elemental boss chest in Pet Simulator 99. By making sure you have the right enchants, pets, and loadout, this will help you in order to maximize how fast you're actually able to destroy this chest. And I have done a ton of testing with both free to play as well as pay to win loadouts. So everyone that's watching this can take full advantage of this event. Also in today's video, I'm going to be giving away this signed huge B. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment your Roblox username down below. And in the next day or two, I will be mailing this out to one of you guys. And we're also going to be doing daily signed huge giveaways over on my discord every single day this month. So make sure you're joined up for that. It's absolutely free and just a way that I can give back to you guys. Now let's get right into how to actually destroy this chest. All right, you guys, so I know I am making this video a little bit late into this update because I was at TwitchCon for this week's update, but I still think this video will be very important for the next week because as you guys know, we are not getting an update in Pet Simulator 99 this Saturday, which means that this boss chest over here is still going to be the best thing for you guys to be doing in the game. Honestly, you guys, this boss chest is very good. It honestly gives so many drops as well as that chance for the huge to spawn if you actually spend a good amount of time grinding this you for sure will be able to get a huge by doing it so so i definitely suggest you guys follow this method that i'm about to show you so that you can at least destroy this chest the quickest way possible which leads me to my first tip on how to destroy this which is actually going to be placing flags now a lot of people think that your flags will not actually affect the damage and what your pets are doing in here but if you actually go over here and like zoom in and then go ahead and place your flags you could see that you could actually like see the flag here in the chest that should be enough testament right there that this flag actually is working now personally i do use the hasty flags in order to maximize my damage and how fast i destroy this chest but you guys can play around with using something like the shiny or the rainbow or the strength flags but personally for me the hasty flags are really good and do a very good job at what we need but this is definitely something you need to be doing when farming this area i know a lot of people have been forgetting to place their flags but trust me it does make a difference now you could also place these sprinklers which i'm pretty sure don't really make a difference obviously but it's just something i thought i would point out now, moving on, the second tip for actually destroying this elemental boss chest is picking the right ultimate for your loadout. Now, picking the right ultimate for your loadout is going to depend on what kind of pet setup you have and how much damage you are doing. If you do have a very strong team of pets, I think using the pet surge ultimate is honestly the best one overall because it does increase how much DPS you are doing pretty drastically. Now, if you don't have the strongest pet team, and you feel like you need even more damage i've seen a lot of people saying that they use the ufo personally i don't really see the appeal in it but if i were you guys i would just play around with all of the damage ultimates that you have and see which one gives you the highest dps when you're using it but honestly because of how expensive the nightmare and the ufo ultimate are i would stick to something like the tsunami or just use the pet surge i think it will do a lot of you guys very well and this is what i'm using personally now before i move on into the enchant loadout a another tip that i see a lot of people like forgetting to do or I, I don't even know why people aren't doing this but you need to be using an auto clicker especially when grinding this chest so really quickly as you guys can see here i just have the auto tap game pass on here and as you can see it says i'm doing around 700 billion damage now if i go ahead and turn on my auto clicker here you can already see how much faster i am doing these taps and then once the dps begins to load you'll see that it is starting to go up and as you can see the dps pretty much goes up around 50 billion from what it seems so that's like a 10 percent gain of dps which is actually pretty significant especially in the long run now this combined with one of the enchants that i'm about to show you in this enchant loadout makes it really really good so that is just another reason why you need to be using an auto clicker and just set it on the highest setting that it can go now even before we go into my enchant loadout another very important thing that might actually be one of the strongest
biggest things that determines how much DPS you're going to be getting against this chest is going to be whatever your best stat pet is. So as you guys know, I just did a whole video on this. So check that out if you want a more in-depth guide on how damage works in this game. But as you guys know, your damage of all of your huges and your exclusive pets is based off whatever your strongest stat pet is. Now, personally, the current second strongest stat pet in the game is this rainbow shiny ghost axolot. And it's only selling for 1.48 million. So I definitely suggest you guys go ahead and pick one of these up for yourselves. No matter what, you should at least have this stat pet. But there is one more stat pet that is better, but it's selling for around 50 million right now. So I'm not sure that's going to be worth it for the vast majority of you. But if you are grinding this all day, I definitely suggest going ahead and getting that because 50 million is just a small investment if you are able to get multiple huges a day doing this method. And then of course, just using any charms that deal damage like the strength charms and the royalty charms will be good on all of your huges. The TNT charm also seems to be a very good charm for destroying this chest, but I think you're pretty much safe with using a strength, a TNT or a royalty charm for your damage output. Now let's actually move on into this enchant loadout because the enchant loadout is most definitely the most important feature that will determine how fast you're able to clear this chest. And before I get into this enchant loadout, I have to tell you guys, this loadout build can get very expensive, but thankfully, if you guys are free to play, I will have a free to play version of this build, but really quickly, we're just going to go over what I think is personally the best build that you can have currently in the game for destroying this chest. Now, this right here is it. Obviously, you don't need to use Super Magnet. You can actually add another Nightmare Orb if you really want to maximize damage here. But I just kind of like the convenience, so I just use a Super Magnet anyways because I feel like I have enough DPS using this build. Now, starting off, we're going to go with probably the most important because these are going to be part of both the free-to-play and this pay-to-win build. Tap Power is an extremely important enchant within this update. Tap Power is going to be doing a bulk of the damage that you're doing with your DPS. So because of that, making sure that you're hitting that threshold for Tap Power is super important and something I cannot stress enough for you guys to make sure you're doing. Really quickly, sorry for the flashbangs, but here is the big game's API. You can actually find this over on my Discord. Link will be down in the description below for that. But in this big game's API, we could see what the threshold is for the tap power enchant. And as you guys can see, it is 2160. So essentially what this means is that any power you have above this number is pretty much going to be useless, but you want to make sure you are at least hitting this number because tap power is very important especially with this build so really quickly let's go back to the game as you can see with a tap power 10 which is currently the best version of tap power that's in the game you currently get 900 increase to your tap power so if you only have two of these you're actually not going to be reaching that tap power threshold so you would at least actually need to use three of these or just one regular one and then empower another if if you empower one, that's going to give you 1800% tap power. And then combine that with the 900 from the second, you are going to be at 2700%. So you're actually going to be above that threshold, but being above the threshold is much better than being below it. So definitely suggest doing this for you guys here in your build. And this will be in the free to play and both the pay to win version of these builds. Now, next up is going to be the second cheapest of the enchants in this loadout. And this will also be in the free to play build as well. Chest breaker increases the amount of damage you deal to chest by 200%. Now this enchant is actually pretty expensive sitting at 36 million. Now the only reason why this is going to be in the free to play build is because you can actually get this enchant for free. I'm not sure if people really know about this, but if you go into the chest achievement here, if you break 5,000 big chests, you get this enchant for absolutely free. So for that reason is why I say this is part of the free to play build. It definitely helps out and is definitely a good enchant for this because it just increases that raw damage that you do to chess. 
Now, moving on, we have the Nightmare Orb Enchant books, and now these are super important for your DPS. A lot of people think these don't work for some reason, and I think that's because sometimes if you're like standing over here, the orbs are like shooting over here to these breakables, but if you just stand in the middle, your orbs will be hitting the chest only and will definitely be increasing the output of the damage that you're doing. Again, I did say this build was going to be very expensive because all of these Nightmare Orbs orbs are 92 million each so definitely not something that is cheap but in the long run i definitely think it is worth picking up some of these because every time there is going to be some sort of boss chest event in the game these are going to go up in price and are going to be useful so if i were you guys i would just pick up four or five of these just to have on hand at all times but either way definitely a necessity for this build and honestly the majority of the dps does come from these nightmare orbs and then moving on to the most expensive and the most painful to your wallet enchant is going to be that corruption book. Now the wrap value of this is currently 272 million, which I know is going to be very expensive for a lot of you. But trust me, this book is so good and increases your DPS by so much. How corruption works is that every time you hit a breakable, it has a chance of procking corruption on that breakable, and it can proc up to three times, I believe, on one breakable. And each of the times that it procs, you get to do a significant amount more damage to that breakable. And then that corruption effect also lasts a decent amount of time. So by doing this and procking three times, destroying something like a boss chest, you're able to clear it much, much faster. And even though this enchant is super expensive i definitely suggest for you guys to be using it now if you can afford all of these really good enchants but you do not have the pay to win enchant slots down here i'm actually going to suggest that you guys keep both these tap power books and then actually sub out this chest breaker as well as two of these nightmare orbs so really quickly i will just demonstrate here so i'll take two of these off and then add back this tap power 10 and then obviously you can replace this super magnet as well with that chest breaker that we just removed or even a nightmare orb would probably be even better so if you don't have the pay to win enchant slots something like this would be a great build or just replace the chest breaker with another nightmare orb and you are still going to be doing an absolute load of damage to this elemental boss chest with this build now moving on to the free to play enchant build really quickly here this is what i have now obviously if you are free to play you won't have these three slots down here but these are just extra ones that i threw in there in case you just don't have a lot of diamonds but you do have these pay to win slots down here in this case you definitely remove these bottom three here just something to add to these up here if you do have those extra slots now going over the tap power books as you can see with the one empowered book and the regular tap power x you are exceeding the threshold for tap power which is really good and then obviously that chest breaker enchant is still in here because you can get this free to play from the achievement so this is something very good that increases how much damage you deal to chests now this is something that a lot of people will probably be skeptical of and this is actually the one criticals x book a lot of people i see in their builds are actually stacking the criticals x and this is something you guys should not be doing because if we pull back up the big games api you'll see here for the criticals enchant the threshold is only 27.2 which means that with just one criticals 10 book you are actually exceeding that threshold so there is absolutely absolutely no reason why you should be stacking two of these critical 10 books for that reason besides these four on top of that you can just put another two of the strong pets x and if we actually pull up the big games api you can see here that the threshold for strong pets is 336 so we're only hitting 280 with two strong pet 10 books so actually going ahead and empowering one of those will be a good idea for a lot of you as well so really quickly i'm going to do that here and this this right here is going to be your overall best free to play build for you free to play players and then on 
top of this build, make sure that you have that second best stat pet that I showed you earlier, which is this rainbow shiny ghost axolot, only 1.4 million, something you guys definitely should be having. But with this build, you will still be shredding this boss chest. So hopefully I went over everything that you guys could possibly need for this elemental boss chest event. Make sure you guys are grinding and taking full advantage of this because you can actually get a lot of huges by doing this method. And remember, if you want this signed huge B here, you can get this by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and commenting your Roblox username down below. And we're also doing daily signed huge giveaways every single day of this month. In order to enter those giveaways, all you have to do is join my discord and then join the giveaway every single day that it goes up. And that is absolutely free for you guys. So hopefully I see you guys in there. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to catch you in the next video and peace out.